Good morning 5C. Today is the 22nd of April, Wednesday. Um, today we'll be going through yesterday's homework. Then after that, I'll be going through with you uh, how to draw electrical circuits uh, in a, for more difficult ones. And then after that, I will let you try uh, homework on some worksheets that are given out to you before the HBR started. Alright, so let's get the ball rolling. Um, let's look at uh, the first worksheet, which is yesterday one. Okay, how to draw circuits. Diagram symbols, uh, electric circuit diagram symbols, yeah. So uh, I have realized I've drawn out everything because uh, I actually have done a recording just now, but the file went missing. The file was something wrong with the file. So uh, I don't want to erase everything away. I'm just going to go through with you um, all these symbols, okay? So if you need, if I'm going too fast for you, just pause, rewind, and uh, listen to it again, okay? So what I have here is I have a battery. Okay, a battery looks like this. There's a positive end and a negative end. So one battery is just one short line and one long line. The short line represents the negative terminal. The long line represents the uh, positive terminal. Okay. If you have three batteries side by side, all you need to do is to put three sets of lines side by side, negative, positive, and so on and so forth. Again, you always look at the terminal to decide is it a long or a short one. This is a negative end. So this is a short end, and then it ends off with a positive end, okay, a long one. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many batteries you have. If there's two, there will be two sets. If there's five, there will be five sets. Okay. Okay, there's no need to put a wire in between because you see there's no wire involved at all. So all you need to do is just put them side by side. Okay, there's no need to like connect them with a wire. Okay. So there are two types of switches, as we know. One is an open switch. One is a closed switch. Um, so a switch is actually two circles and a wire in between. Um, if it's an open switch, the wire will be diagonally not touching the circle. So there's a gap over here. You realize there's a gap over here. So this is the... Uh, okay, so... I wanna... Okay, can, okay, so there's a gap over here. So a gap over here means it's an open switch. And if the wire touch each other, means it's a closed switch. Okay, so switch is just two circles and a line. But if it's an open one, it will not touch the next the, the other circle. If it touch the other circle, it is a closed switch. Okay, now we go on to a bulb. A bulb is very simple. A circle followed by a cross. Okay, a circle followed by a cross. The cross will touch the ends of the circle. So how do I usually connect a wire to a bulb? Usually I connect from left to right without going across because in real life the bulb does the wire doesn't go across the bulb. It touches the metal casing and the metal tip. Or I can go from top to bottom. Usually, we do not uh, connect them at right angles or perpendicular. We don't do that. Okay. Wire is the most simple. Just a line, whether either horizontal line or vertical line. It depends on how you are drawing it. Okay. So after knowing all this, let's try to draw the electric circuit diagram. <clears throat> okay. So um, given a diagram, a picture like this is very hard to draw the actual circuit. So it's easier for us to draw the circuit diagram because when we change this uh, picture to a circuit diagram, we realize it's much simpler, it's much cleaner, it's much more organized with the symbols. Okay, so it's much easier to draw also. Okay, so circuit diagram. Okay, so now we will look at how we draw um, a full circuit diagram. So let's look at the first one. It is a open switch. Okay, that's why uh, there's an open switch here as well. So when you are drawing circuit diagrams, always start with drawing down the parts where they are. So if the bulb is here, I draw it here. If the switch is here, I draw it here. The battery is here, I draw it here. I don't change the position. I put it where it is. Okay, it's like a photocopying machine. You put it where it is. Okay, so first step, I draw in the um, light bulb, the open switch, and the battery. And then I connect them using wires. Make sure the wires are straight. Make sure you use a ruler. Okay, you do not have curvy whirly wires for circuit diagram okay so uh so draw the bulb draw the switch open and draw the uh, battery connected with wires okay for the second one is the same as the first one except that the switch is now closed so realize there's a closed switch everything else remains the same so same thing draw the bulb draw the switch that is closed draw the battery connect them together according to the way it's connected okay don't invent your new way just draw the way it is shown to you so the next two is more complicated. Uh, same thing, doesn't matter whether it's complicated or not. First thing, always draw in the parts first. So I have a bat 
two batteries over here, negative, positive, negative, positive. That's why I have two batteries also here. Three bulbs side by side, three bulbs side by side. So I just draw a wire according to a diagram and connect the three bulbs together like this. Okay. So no matter how difficult it is, always start with the parts first, then connect according to what you see. So same thing for the last one. There are two batteries, negative, positive, negative, positive. Three bulbs on top of each other or above each other per se. So all you need to do is connect them. Okay, and this bulb goes to this bulb, this bulb goes to this bulb. Okay, and then do the same for the other side. So it's correct. So same thing, just draw the parts in first, then connect them using wires according to what you see. Okay, so um, this part is just a summary of what we have learned so far. So electric electrical circuits are systems. Why? Because they have battery, wires, bulbs, and switch. These are different parts of the system. However, um, for for it to be working, there must at least be battery, wires, and bulbs. Sometimes you don't need switch. It depends. For big circuits, yes, you need switch because there might be many different bulbs you want to control, whether you want to on or off the bulb. However, if this is a just a simple circuit, you actually don't need a bulb. All you need to do is to disconnect or connect the wires. So, um, battery, wires, and bulbs are what you must have. Switch sometimes you don't need to have. So all these parts can be represented by symbols, and uh, symbols can be used to draw your circuit diagram. Yeah, what we have, what we went through just now. So the next thing we look at is um closed and open circuit. Closed circuit means there's a gap. When there's a gap, means no ah. Uh, Sorry, uh, if we're talking about closed circuit, closed circuit means there is no gap. Let me highlight the word no gap. Okay, closed circuit means no gap. No gap means the electric current can pass through, means the light bulb can light up. If it's an open circuit, open means there's a gap. If there's a gap, electric current cannot flow through, bulb cannot light up. Okay, electrical conductor is, uh, is able to allow electricity to pass through. So examples of them is copper, iron, and gold. So all these are actually metals. So electrical conductors are mostly metals. They allow electric current to flow through. The light, the light bulb will light up. Opposite of electrical conductor is electrical insulator. Usually non-metals. So glass, rubber, plastic, or anything that's not a metal. They do not allow electricity to pass through. Electric current cannot pass through. Light bulb cannot light up. Okay, let's go on. This is the end of SIN. There's still one more page for your homework yesterday. Uh, this is actually uh, electric circuit unit 4, worksheet 1, page 4, question 10. Okay, some of these things are wrong. So this is what we are trying to do. We are trying to see whether it's correct. And if it's wrong, draw the correct one. Okay, this is a battery. We all know this is a battery. And battery is represented by two lines. A long one to represent the positive terminal. A short one to represent the negative terminal. Of course, it would be better if I can flip this around. But this is the symbol. For like for battery, so it is the correct answer. So this is a bulb. A bulb is not a circle and a line across. A bulb is a circle and a cross inside. So this is wrong. Why well, is very simple? Just a straight line, or it can be a vertical line. So this is correct. And switch is this is not a symbol for switch. This is a symbol for bulb. So a switch is actually two circle, either open switch or closed switch. Depends on what you are looking at. Okay. So with that, I've gone through yesterday's work. Um, later on, I will be going through with you how to draw a circuit proper. And then after that, uh, your homework will be some of the worksheets that I've given you before we start HBR. Okay, see you later.